for width does not represent 13 and it's not the same as the width of each of these intervals okay so now on the vertical axis uh, we want the vertical axis to represent percentages I suppose the best way to do this is maybe to graduate this in blocks of 10 so let's just check to see does this fit we have 10 20 30 40 50 60 70 80 90 it doesn't fit so let's actually maybe go up in, in 20s so let's say we have 20 40 60 80 100 and let's label them 20 40 60 80 100 okay so we're nearly there okay the next stage is don't forget the cumulative frequencies or the percentage cumulative, fr cumulative frequencies represent the percentage of observations that are less than our upper bounds so we associate the upper bounds of our classes with our percentage cumulative frequencies so at 18 Facebook friends we've observed 8% of the data set now I'm sure you can do this and be a lot more accurate than me my pens tip is pretty pretty uh, wide uh, but at 18 we should be going up to 8% which is in around it's in around here so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna put a little dot in there at 31 I'm going to go up to 27 so here's 31 and 27 is going to be in around here at 44 I'm going to go up to 50 so here's 44 and up to 50 is in here at 57 I'm going to go up to 77 so here's 57 77 seems to be in around here somewhere okay uh, at 70 I'm going to go up to 94 so here's 70 94 is in around here and then finally at 83 I'm going to go up to 100 at 83 I'm going to go up to 100 which gives me something that looks like this and then finally what we do is we put zero at our lower bound okay so we're nearly there now what we do is we join the dots okay so if I join the dots what I end up with is I end up with a curve that looks something like that and that's typically the shape of an ogive it's an elongated s so maybe what I'll just put up here is that this is an ogive okay it's an ogive or a percentage cumulative polygon okay so once we've created our ogive there's a number of things that we can do we can calculate the median value don't forget the median value is the value that splits the data set up into two equal portions where the number of observations less than it is equal to the number of observations greater than it or where there's 50 percent of the observations less than it and if we just look at the characteristics of this particular distribution table here all of our data values are ordered from smallest through to largest okay and we also have percentages so actually this represents the percentage of observations that are less than our upper bound so at the 50 percent mark which is in around here if I come across the distribution in this direction and if I drop down this value here is the median okay if I want to calculate the first quartile so this is at the 50 percent mark so this is at the 50 percent mark which represents the median now if I want to calculate the first quartile I come across well the first quartile is I've observed a quarter of the data set or 25 percent so 25 percent is in around here somewhere so if I come across the data set and if I drop down this represents the first quartile or the 25 percent mark and the third quartile is at the 75 percent mark which is in around here if I come across the data set and if I drop down this is the 75 percent mark okay? this will give me where the third quartile is so let me just write that down here the first quartile is at the 25 percent mark the second quartile or the median is at the 50 percent mark and the third quartile is at the 75 percent mark and the interquartile range is the distance between the first and the third quartile so the interquartile range actually let me write this down here the interquartile quartile range 
which is IQ, or is simply equal to the third quartile minus the first quartile. Okay. So the third quartile seems to be a value that's between 44 and 57. So it seems to be in around 51. No, I'm only estimating this here. My marker is very big there. This particular dot is overlapping a number of squares, but you'll do this with pen or pencil. And you can be more accurate. So what did I say? This is in around maybe 52 minus the first quartile, which seems to be in around 31. So it tells us that the distance between the first quartile and the third quartile, also known as the interquartile range, or the IQR, seems to be about 21 units, or 21 Facebook friends. Okay guys, uh, I hope that was helpful. Uh, this short video was how to construct an OGIVE from a group frequency distribution. So thanks for your time and thanks for watching. Uh, my name was Jonathan Lambert with the Mathematics uh, Support Service at the National College of Ireland. Thank you.